Sega. All right, welcome all to Kung Grexus Prime's channel. We are going to be starting up a new series in the channel. And this is a game that I played a very long time ago. This came out back in 2008 on PlayStation 3. And this to me is a timeless game because it's one of those games that took a chance on not just being a strategy game, not just being a turn-based strategy but real-time strategy third-person shooter strategy and first-person shooter all in one it, it, it's like a game that uh extrapolates almost every single engineer of game there is puts it into one and somehow it makes it work now it's been a while since i've played this game and uh, i wanted to replay it but this time put it on the channel and uh, also, I'll be playing it on my new Steam. Um, hold on. I got to hit the button here because this thing is uh, going to go ahead and restart it all over. And we're not going to do that. So, I want to go ahead and replay it on the new uh, Steam Deck as well. So, I'll be testing it on Steam Deck and replaying the game all together. So, that's what we're going to do here. There's a lot of story. And... Uh, this game is really, really cool, my dudes. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Its vast military superiority struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, 
They found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? your hands in the air slowly haven't seen you around before what's your name um uh, my name's welkin and you are the one with the gun we're with the Bruletown watch i'm alicia alicia melchiot so i'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. One thing I need to comment on, this game is, man, about to be, you know, over, oh, about to be 20 years old, in all reality, if you think about it, 2008 is a long time, and uh, it still looks really, really cool, and the art in this game is just fantastic, I don't know, I've, I've always been a fan of that, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's the color, or just the way the characters are modeled, I, I've just been a fan of this kind of, like, artwork, but anyway. Enough gawking at the game, let's go on to the next uh, part of the story. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. 
Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Alright, so there's going to be some tutorial stuff that's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and save the game. And uh, we're going to override that save. And um, I never got to beat this on PC. I beat it on the PS3. Um, I played this for a little while. And I can't remember why I stopped playing it. To be honest with you guys, uh, this is a really, really cool game. So let's go ahead and do our first op. And um, I don't know if I'm going to base this. Okay, here's the plan. If I'm going to base this series based on ops or I'm going to base it by a certain amount of time. I don't know. Leave me, leave me in the comment below if you guys want like 30 minute episodes, one hour episodes. Or you want mission to mission. So that, that's a cool question to ask you guys on this new series I'm going to be putting. We got enemy and Imperial Scouts. They're approaching Bra. Okay. We'll deploy from here and take out all of them. Uh, just cross the bridge, take down a oh, So this is kind of like a tutorial mission. This ain't going to be too bad. Our objective is to eliminate all the enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time. Nice and easy. Okay, welcome dies. Alicia dies. 20 turns. So you, you have a certain amount of li uh, limited turns that you can do this. But what's cool about this is that you move in third person. Um, and it's like real time strategy until... You decide to shoot, and then you go into turn base, which is really interesting. When I first played this, I thought it was neat. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. All right, here we go. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. All right, so we're scouts. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Never mind. She's gonna explain it for us. CB command points. When combat starts, you'll see the map and the area units position. They're reference to the command mode. Uh, here's how you select units. Select move base position respectively, and then we then press it. Yeah, this is pretty standard stuff. Yeah, so you have these little uh, points. And each point is uh, based on like how many people you have on the board, and um, that's basically how many times you can move. You can use that point to move one unit, or you can move multiple units or you can use uh as many times as you have those stars to do actions with that particular character so you don't need to like swap around if you don't want to uh, uh they represent the number of times you can give instructions control yeah i just explained that in the battle you have three cps so you issue instructions you units three times let's try move units all right so yeah you're gonna have like a move bar if i remember right so we are gonna use alicia because she is a way better shooter then Welks is about action points. Use CP to select the unit's command mode and you will be plunged into action mode. Here's how you freely move until your units are selected around the field. Now you could also like dodge. You can use like tree obstructions. So you know you don't have to like run right at your enemy. Which is pretty neat. Yep. The action mode you know, gauge to zero. Bottom of the screen to graduate the plate. Now once I move all the way out and I pick her the next time she'll have less CPs to, to move from. This represents units of mobility. Once you reach zero, you will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the units remaining. AP while in motion, critical to keep them safe. All right, so we got that guy. He's not hiding, so that's good. Uh, now to use. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, so you see the, the bar? 
All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. About attacking. Oh, you're gonna teach me everything. That's cute. Uh, press button in target mode. Unit will will prepare to attack with their current selected weapon. Move the crosshairs into the. Yep. Okay. Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode, so you take your timing well before pressing. Yeah, that's also important. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle of the crosshair. So <clears throat> if you aim for the head, it, it's kind of like Phoenix Point in that sense where you have like a spread. Um, so shots at the heads will weak the points and result in greater damage. Yeah, so head shots like everything else uh, do more damage. A unit can only attack a target mode upon once the action, so choose wisely before you fire. If the target survives your attack, they will launch a counterattack. That's what's cool about this game, too. Uh, the damage unit may not have... As long, but they didn't explain that in there. As long as the unit is in range, because if you're out of range, you won't attack back. That's important. Uh, survive the enemy with counterattacks. Care for planning attack. Okay, so... You always want to use cover in this game. So let's uh, let's do this. So we can put old dude in the grave. So you guys see I got five shots. It says here it takes two headshots to kill him. So there's a good possibility that I'll be able to uh, eliminate this guy right here. Got him. Nice. How about ending action? This is a rinse wheels. Already perform an attack. Target mode. Uh, this will return you to the command mode where you'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press and turn attacks you still have AP yeah we can still move though so we're gonna do that um, where's the map we got two more contacts and we still got plenty of movement so I'm gonna move her up you do that to pick up their um, uh, about using cover oh yeah yeah we're gonna definitely use cover here uh, standing near sandbags and command crouch will appear press A to cover behind them uh, while hiding behind cover, units are harder targets and take less damage and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out of the open and then will attack easier and hit could significantly more damage. Advance carefully, move from cover to cover, and always try to end your action safety behind the arm from harm. Yeah, that's important in this game, or you will get vaporized. Doing so will keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Galio. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to make it to that sandbag or not. Nope, I'm not going to. It's too far. Alright, we're going to need to end that turn. Alright, so I could probably... Turn, we're going to kill with, with her. Screw it. We're taking damage. That's fine. Let's crotch. Just in case we don't kill this clown. It says 7 to kill him. 2. Here we go. Got him. Good job, Alicia. Uh, we're going to use the sandbags to close distance. And we could probably... We could actually skirt our way over there. We'll take less damage if we start shooting at us. Which is what I'm trying to avoid. You guys can see I'm taking way less damage now. We're going to use all our movement point to get to this clown. And then next turn I should be able to shoot him in the... And end this. With just Alicia. Technically, she's better than Welks. I mean, I know Welks is going to be a tank commander, though he's considered a scout. Um, he doesn't shoot as well. That's why we're pushing Alicia to the maximum here. Let's see. Uh, come on, Alicia. Don't miss. Don't make me look bad. I just said you can shoot. This one thing about this uh, uh, playing with a controller, it's like, there we go. Beautiful. There you go, my dudes. First operation complete. And we're... I don't see any more of them. Only 20 minutes into the to the series. So we got the... I think the best possible score is an A. And uh, we got it. So we did it all in one turn. And as you guys can see, this is very RPG-ish. There's going to be experience. There's going to be money. All that is used to like upgrade your equipment. Later on when you get a tank, you will have to upgrade your tank, so on and so on. And also like train your units as well. So let's go ahead and view this last page here and then um, 
we're going to call this episode done. Miss Melchior, there's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust of persecution and hate and of love blooming even through the flames of war what follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought lived and died Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. All right, my dudes, that was a heck of a little intro there of this game. That was just a simple version of it. There's uh, a lot more. There's classes. Like I said, there's going to be vehicles. And every mission has like a different challenge, which is really, really neat. This game is uh, an awesome, awesome game, telling a very good story. It's it's a meaty game. It has a lot of content in it. You know, I mean, it, it, it's a standard, you know, uh, early 2000 game where, uh, you know, games were made really, really good. So anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this episode right here. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to override our save right there. And um, we're going to go ahead and record the next episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Don't forget to interact with it. Let me know, guys, what you think of Chronicles of Valkyria. And, um, yeah, let me know if you guys even know about this game, if you even played it, are you excited about it? Let me know. That's all I have for now. Light, love, and peace. Congrexes. Checking out.